Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and everything and amazing propaganda cast with me, your host, and Pearl Dane, the one, the only master of propaganda here of Psych, defender of the fatherland, off it, a glorious 1v1. On crossing in the woods of the north, it is Ghost Dragon, fun here for the Obor Commandos, Germany, Deutschland, here with the 20th Panzer Division with Scavenge, Elite Armoured and Grand Offensive. In the south, it is the one, the only, the Storm Tiger Gap, fighting here for the Red Army, the Soviet Union, Comrade Stalin, and the 7th Guards Tank Corps here with Armoured Assault featuring the T-35 Radio Intercept, Vehicle Crew Pair Training, Eyes to Heavy Tanks and the IL-2 Stormic Attacks. A full Skandir Kuvang start versus a Pion Tupper start here for Gyat as he taps into the power of troops that didn't quite do what they're supposed to. So, as always, a big hearty thanks to my patron supporters. Without them and their valuable support, the Pabana Cast would not be able to keep doing so. What it does, so big thanks to all those. Other people join the heroic ranks, become part of the Propaganda Legion. Immortal heroes, uh, by pledging on Patreon, or they can donate via PayPal. Links are in the video description, or if you're interested in pre-ordering communist feeding, those are the link in the comments. Use the code STUK3G, as it is written there, and I get a nice cut of the sales. So that's a great way to get both the game and support me. And I'll just talk about the game in the video there, or the comments. A comment, a like, share, subscribe, all that's there. So, heading eastwards here with the German army, Pion Super Squad number 2 here for Gyap. And the Red Army. Fun fact, the Germans actually did have their own penal troops as well. In fact, they might have had them before the Soviets started using them. So that's a little fun fact there as well. Though they weren't necessarily always particularly popular with their commanders either there. But anyways, second full squad there for Ghost Dragon. Trot on the way there. Could be an indicator here of elite armor and a fast 2 to 1 hit. Hit back a gap. Strafbat there with the SVT 40s striking at the Kuhlwagen here under... Ghost Dragon's command going hard at them, though here using the Kuban to disrupt the formation, allowing the Sturm Pioneer to push them away. There we go. Bit of a hard hit here. Gap with the scout on the way here. And we do sort of hit that sort of slightly, you know, reason why you don't necessarily see a lot of special rifle command starts, because it has a bit the issue you kind of have with the Wehrmacht, which is you have to build a structure first, then push out troops, except you get penal troops that are more expensive that they're going to use and hit a bit further later and unlike the Wehrmacht you don't even have access to the MD-42 so well it's obviously it's not like the penal troops are bad but they kind of you know have slightly worse timings than the Wehrmacht so for some players that's just not very fun anyway scout care of course off a gap motorizing his men there the white scout cut as it was also known penal troops in the east was there typically mounted with a number of machine guns there that typically be two machine guns pointing forwards from my understanding. Pumas are going for these in a fuel point here. West side also been claimed there by Ghost Dragon. And he's in fact going for the 2 to 1. That will definitely force Gap here to have to go for some anti-tank rifles to counter the 2 to 1. Or he could of course hope that the M3A1 knocks it out. Pumas are the folks in the west here. Bit of gun. Gap's going to have to fall back here. I imagine the outgrove will be at least looking at another penal to score. Probably even a fourth one here. Got the 2 to 1 out here for Ghost of Dragon and Deutschland, and we got the Belgrade headquarters up for him. West side engineers as the full second is a third penal to squad there for Gap, halfway done. Rushing Haas, Hardy there with the 2 to 1. Engineers as the full second is Pumps there, slowly being bled out here. Not the strongest starts here for Gap. There you go. Pumps is now being caught with the Scout Cut and the Kubel Wagner. A a rather hard motorized push here by Ghost Dragon against Gyap. Third penal troop squad ready. Again, I would not be surprised if this is meant to tank rifles and anything. I'd be more surprised if we didn't see some to tank rifles. Pushing hard west with the scout car here, looking to shift the, the balance more in his favor there because with the, the scout car in the east, he's going to at least initially struggle to deal with that. And yep, there we go. The P2 S41 on the way there for Storm Tiger Gyap and the Red Army. Fultz is holding out inside the building here, hoping to buy as much time here. As Gap, of course, looks to claim it. Troops back here reinforcing. Medics on the way there for Gap. We'll have to just go for the fourth penal to squad, or what he does do here in the face of Ghost of the Dragon. 2 to 1 rushing westwards. Penal Tubus almost got the anti tank rifles ready. Well, Ghost Dragon's still moving it, despite knowing they're there now. Yes, he, oh, yeah, he starts pulling away there. Plus, we've got the. Upgrade there for the radio set. They're turning into the 223. We got Panzer Shrek here as well for Ghost Dragon. Bit of barbed wire there. A lot of action here between Ghost Dragon as Gyap here on Crossing in the Woods. 
not one of the most popular 1v1 maps. Probably, I think, one of the least chosen ones alongside Holot Newfoundland. Dark rushing forwards here, there you go, Asus Van Tank robs it, punches straight for the Kubelwagen, like, well, a fist through cardboard, and there you go, the Kubelwagen goes up in flames here, and goes straight onto the car pond here, Gap notes is going down to motor relation speed, and daring attacks here to turn the tide against Ghost Dragon, and he sure doesn't snowball out on him, quickly pushing East was there, fourth pins of squad here for Gap and the Red Army, Stun Pioneer though should be able to ambush it, knock it out unless Gap gets lucky. He should definitely pop the Pinal Troopers. He doesn't, but fortunately everyone except Sergei wore their seatbelts. Remember, comrades, a failure to wear seatbelts is a sign of fascism. Grab the Eastern Pontiff with the Pinal Troopers there, grabbing the Munitions Point there as well. 2 2 3 the Rushing Forts here for the German Army, the 20th Panzer Division. Pinals moving up, he engaged in the 2 3 there with its machine gun there. Flying away, we got Mark being turned by that is quickly put to rest. So we'll have to see what Gap does next. Theoretically, we can like, go for like a fifth Pinal Trooper squad, though that seems rather in the realm of the somewhat unlikely. Ghost Dragon, though, going for more full needs after an MD 34, realizing he does need more infantry to match Gap. Must got the Eastern Fuel Point. Machine Gun here catching the Strafbart there by the Eastern at a victory point. Yeah, at this point, of course, Cookies are taking up here soon ish. Maybe line up for something splashy, we'll have to see. To the field, of course, continue to provide here Ghost Dragon with an excellent motorized element that can quickly sort of put pressure on Gap's infantry. Gap here going for the Sniper. Interesting choice here. Can't believe that Ghost Dragon, but is also a potential target for the 2 to 3 to be rushed down at with, so. Bit risky there. Anyways, sniper there, one further way down there for Gap. Machining there being hauled up here to further the siege and keep those pimps within check there. Though for some reason we've strange to the point, which means the pimps will never get more free shots on the machine gun team there. Not entirely sure why, but. Uh... Oh well. Sturm Peony moving in, getting focused down here, drawing technically far away from the machine gun, but they are taking a bit of a beating in the process. More troops arriving here. In fact, we got a second pimps squad upgrade here for Gap. Could be one reason he actually went for the sniper because he was intending to go for even more anti-tank rifles and so probably figured it would be a good idea to have someone else do all the infantry killing without, you know, adding in even more penal troopers. So all the way though, setting up here to attack the machine gun there, sniper slowing forwards here for Yup and the Red Army. 7th Guard Tank Corps. 317th Motorized Rifle Brigade. Truck on the way there for Ghost Dragon. That'll be the Schwerer Panzer Kutier. Around the some fuel point there. Yep, definitely being present again. The 2 to 3 is definitely, I think, a key component in this show. See, control the map here by Ghost Dragon so far. They can be very powerful depending on the opponent and can really pressure them. Yup, here actually goes for a fifth penal to squad. This is pretty rare. I mean, again, Five infantry squad builds, not rare, but from like a third perspective, they're surprisingly rare, and to then see five pinnacle squads is really something else there. Again, it's a lot of like pretty tough infantry that can really put some pressure there on Ghost Dragon, but still it's like also quite an investment here from Gap, but yeah, we'll be interested to see how this goes. Not very common though. But again, I think it's sort of a you know development again, just this like, you know, more and more people realizing, hang on, infantry's good. In fact, it's kind of necessary. Into the route in the east. And so again, we're sort of seeing more experimentation against like these large types of builds here. That said, I probably wouldn't recommend five penalty war builds like most players, certainly not to new players who are like trying to get a hang of the game. I think going for five penalty war squads. Could theoretically risk being a bit too much. But at the same time, I suppose, I mean, if you want to go for it, knock yourselves out, just uh, be ready for consequences. But anyway, team's about to get wiped out here as Ghost Dragon hits hard here. A lot of firepower out of his men here. Sturm Gewehrs on top of the 2 2 3. Really hard hitting push there. Engineers wiped out. Snow retreating. Pimps of retreating. Of course, realizing his flank is wildly exposed here, and he's about to get hit by a strike force here from Ghost Dragon and the 20th Panzer Division. West Ponting sees the Pinal Troopers. 2-3 keeps moving ahead here. Anti-tank rifle guys are on the move there with a 
Large number of PTRS 41s. And we got engineers here for Gyup and the Red Army to replace the ones that got cruelly cut down by the Germans. Folks are charging into the penal troopers here, though, again, with a lot of anti tank rifles, they do take a little less damage. Sniper, they're going with another penal troop squad here against them. And he's going for even more anti tank rifles. Like, he's clearly expecting to be on the receiving end of some tanks. But yeah, that's a lot of anti tank rifles. Crikey. Straight to mind here, Ludwig and Otto there find their feet suddenly missing. And all of a sudden here for Ghost Dragon, certainly ending in something a bit harsher in the infinite department here to hit back against all these penal troopers. Tank will be tank out there for Gyup. The Sniper there. Going on a nice casual walk westwards, backed up by penal troopers with anti-tank rafts in tow there. Sniper gets a kill there on Friedrich. Small chance of wipe here, I think, on Ghost Dragon. Brandhunt gun on the penalty, so they're going to force them to vacate the premises. Down to just one man there. Full retreat here in the face of Gyup's assault here. And I think there's a good chance of wipe here due to the negative cover. And the sheer fact, again, they're already low numbers. Or does have Ghost Dragon? No, he doesn't have that much luck. Machine gun there versus the sniper and the penalty troopers here. Good kill here, down to one man here. He's going to keep at it, but I think this is a bit of a mistake there by Ghost Dragon. Maybe he won't get a wipe there. That'd be lucky for Ghost Dragon. Possibly underserved. And there we go, though. See some two to go for the sniper here. And there we go. This is sort of where, again, Gap does run into some issues here. Check another map like crossing in the woods. He does have some tank rubs. They've got a T send on the way here for him. Interesting timing for this. But there you go. Opening up the 223. Pop smoke. Put much more troops to perhaps screen a possible escape path here by the 223. Depending on which path. Ghost Dragon does see got there. You go the shopping fire. It looks like it does escape here. He's also been able to see some fuel put away here from Ghost Dragon. But there you go. We got the Orbital Ardnati hardened veteran Panzer Grenadiers of many battles on the Eastern Front. Certainly not the Butterfront, aka Denmark. You don't gain any metal medals there. Just a few extra pounds. Ultimate about here for Ghost Dragon. More of a sudden here, the form as well. Yeah, the five pills were built with the snipers actually like slowly turned the game around here against Ghost Dragon. And now we got the T70 up. Certainly a fairly late T70, but yeah, clearly is putting a lot of trust into his large amount of anti tank rifles. To basically weather any immediate panzer pushes here by Ghost Dragon. And of course, he's also been able to like control the fuel points fairly well. So it's not like he's in such a huge risk. Though. Obviously, again, it is still fairly risky. But either way, though, definitely not your average Oba Command best versus Sert match. I think part of again is just like, you know, the choices Gyat made. But also, I think the map. It is a fairly large race map. But at the same time, one that's still... Creates these sort of, shall say, massive choke points and arrow play, so it sort of is a bit of a weird one when you think about it. He's going for the Fulton Ideas here, backed up by penal troopers. The Strafbat. In German, they were known as Bewahrungstruppen, if I remember correctly. But it's the German version that is the Bewahrungstruppen. Going for the Western Ponty with the Fulton Ideas. Eastern Point sees the British Straff, but flanking up behind the Fultz Grenadiers is here. To get a bit risky here for Ghost Dragon. There you go. I think he realizes the risk and retreat, but even then, there's a lot of penal from the treat path here. Like, theoretically, a well timed Sattler charge here could perhaps wipe them even, but even then, like, it's just a lot of firepower here, plus the T70. So there's a good chance here that Ghost Dragon suffers another wipe to Gyup and the Red Army. Yup, chances of a wipe there are very high here. Great kill there for Gyup. And suddenly again, like, this massive infinite build is really turning his favor. It's also worth noting, it's not like, you know, he's blobbing them up. It's not like he's just offering, like, a massive clump there. It's like, you know, he's actually, like, fairly managing a variety of engagements with them. So back here for Gyup, not much else happening. May want to start taking up soon, or, I don't know, bring up an issue in 6M. As for Ghost Dragon, he's obviously trying to get to a Panda 4, but Gyup is not exactly magnesium for him. Which is obviously... 
by intent, I imagine. I came landing gun at the cheese and we got the intent rocking up here behind the 223. We do get some smoke, but not from an angle that protects against the P2S41. So they may just be able to escape here. Yup, narrowly does escape total destruction. All of a sudden, squad number two out here. First one, they equipped with the MD-34 now. Ripping through the straf back there. Troops setting out there. So what will Ghost Dan go for next? Another Orbis Lad squad? I mean... I mean, this is like an infant fight that's definitely like higher on the average infantry squad than normal. So who knows? Sniper there with 11 kills. Definitely getting some hits in there on Ghost Dragon and the 20th Panzer Division. 9th Panzer Grenadier Company. He's moving about. Mine's down here for Gyap. Not a bad idea, obviously. In fact, it's a very good idea. Do you have any minesweepers for Ghost Dragon? If we do, thumbs up to that. He's out here straight into the MD-34. Of course, the sniper could help clear out the machine and give air, pushing for decent fuel pump. We've got the mobile side squad here, that's set. Out in the open, and we got the season machine as well. The things get a bit dicey here for Ghost Dragon on the right flank. Came okay, no shoots, but missed the T-70. Quite the uh, fateful uh, whiff on that one. This does mean now Ghost Dragon is going to fall out of fuel control here. Does go for the pentaformology. I mean, theoretically, like, go for something bigger, but I think under current circumstances, with the amount of pressure Gyup is exerting here on Ghost Dragon, he absolutely wants a pentaformology. I mean, on average, you still do, but I think more than ever here, more than any other player in any other situation, Ghost Dragon really wants a Pantafor Model J. Because with this much infantry, in particular equipped with anti-tank rifles, he really does not want a Panther. Straight to mine here, though, loses two penal troopers there. Heading west was the Orbital Down, straight to mine. Great mine there for Gyap. Panzerkampfang 4, as von Jod, almost done here for Ghost Dragon. Just need for that one to run there and go. Panzer Kampfang Fiat as von Jod. Last model of the Panda 4. Can we have oh that's a Panzer Strike actually. But that was a kid man for T79 down to very little health here. Got a few shots there for Ghost Dragon. Panzer Kampfang setting out there. No, the in-game version of the Panda 4 Model J doesn't quite reflect the actual Panda 4 Model J in terms of performance. The actual Model J had much slower turret rotation because they actually removed the electrical generator that was there, so it was actually hand cranked, which is much slower. For starters, I think that's like pr probably like the biggest difference there is there. Plus some other changes here in there. So, little fun fact there. In fact, the early models, in-game models, actually had slow turret rotation, but people didn't like that, so they kind of changed it up a bit. There goes Spot of the Mine, good work there by Ghost Dragon, season the Western Fuel Point here, but again, he's doing it in such a manner like Gap could like, you know, theoretically move in a large force block the retreat path and get a wipe again. He was on the east side here and suddenly found themselves now cut off and in a potential situation where they could get wiped here by Ghost Dragon. As for Gap, making our summer company up, could go for the T-45. He theoretically could also transfer up for the IS-2, but obviously going for T-45 Several first, I think, is a much wiser decision. Team squad even pursued by the Panda 4 with the Panzer Commandant. There we go. Almost wipes the entire unit. It's also worth noting, by the way, now Gap has every squad equipped with anti tank rifles with the PTRS 41. That is a lot of anti tank rifles. Grab Northern Point, grab an Eastern Point here, because up the 2 to 3 on the fuel points, give himself more fuel, more Panzers. T7 there slowly approaching Vetsny 2. One thing that has been working out for Ghost Dragon, despite struggles with resources, is victory points. He's got 418 versus his opponents, 275. So while he's definitely had some struggles, he's been able to at least maintain some pressure there on Gyap. He's on the open gauge by the Panda 4, Model G, straight into a mine. Engine blasted there. T-70 is going back, almost knocked out. T-3045 arriving here for Gyup and the Red Army. Going to go straight for that Panda 4, Model G, which is 
with a damage engine already quite exposed. We do get the heat shield. See, his shot bounces. Fortunately for Gap, less fortunately for Ghost Dragon. And the heat shields, they definitely convince Gap to maybe just send his tank elsewhere. The of shoots misses. Wow, that T-35 has some incredible luck so far. So apparently, even that luck has limits. There you go. Enter tanks are charge here. Ghost Dragon's Panther 4 goes up in flames. A huge blow here to the 20th Panzer to be shown. It's infantry now exposed once more to the armored might of the Red Army. And for that matter, all of the penal troopers. A Ken Maffer gets another shot in on the T-35, but still, the damage has been done here to Ghost Dragon and the 20th Panzer to That's just a lot of manpower there. I mean, support weapons could be an idea. The machine guns, line for guns, just more orbs of Darden. I think with a T-35 foul on the loose and just one like Kedmaf and a Pantry Shrek, he may want to consider another Kedmaf or another Sturm Pioneer squad with another Pantry Shrek. Out of the way, the T-35 there being fixed up here for Gap and the Red Army. Heading west of the Orbital Darden. Pushing east with the Strafbad. Snap heading westward C. T's in rolling out there for Gyup. Can we reposition a bit here for Ghost Dragon? Could salvage the Panther for some extra resources. He's still flowing a lot of manpower. Makes me wonder if he's going to just try and hold up for a Panther instead. Now with the T foot found the field here. Got a wipe though on Gyup. In this case, it was the sniper that perished. That's a good kill there for Ghost Dragon. Panzer Shrek there lands it easily on the T-35. Of course, we'll need several more Panzer Shreks to really knock it out. But it's a start. Sturm Pioneer there, close being wiped out. Can't go, and again, go for the Panther Formal gain now. But again, part of me suspects, with the way he's flooding manpower, that Ghost Dragon is really thinking hard about a Panther here. I does go for the Panther Formal Gear. He's just flooding manpower then for some reason. Obviously, again, the Panther Formal Gear is, I think, still going to be a choice against all the penal troopers. And the Sun wouldn't would be able to understand if he's like thinking about a Panther simply with the route of the T-35. Panther fast in the T-70. Good shot there for the rear. Oh, engine block. And then Gilbert Kemalan's a good hit. One more shot, and that T-70's going to go down. If he can get rid of it, that would be pretty large here for Ghost Dragon. But no fortune. Once more smarts from Gyup. Infant troopers moving up the eastern side. And we do get more Orbital now here for Ghost Dragon. Perhaps realizing yeah, he may need some more elite infantry to tackle all of these hardened convicts. Convicts and convicts, obviously. Got the Orbital, that's the penal troopers there. But yeah, penal troops next to cover so two orbital squads with light machine guns is typically a great way to get a unit killed. So Gap there, I think, does make the right oh, decision in retreating them. A bit more pressure on the west side, but there you go. Third orbital squad on the way there. Did he cancel and go for it again? Apparently. Maybe this is just because the Pantherfall's up first. All the way, though. Got the Pantherfall ready. Panzer Commandant being added. We'll have to see if Ghost Dragon keep that one alive for a bit longer here versus Gap. Gap can soon also go for another T-45. That's certainly not impossible at this point. Gap might be dreaming of the IS-2 heavy tank. Or you're starting to. Pants for getting the penalties over there. Pushing them back. Got the eastern fuel point there. So, I mean, he's getting a lot of fuel per minute. He also now has access to the Altru Sturmovic attack. So that could further make things uncomfortable here. The Ghost Dragon. T's and rushing westwards, fixing up the T for the 35. MD 34 there being added. And the force setting out. And a lot of anti tank rifles lying in wait to open up on it, but there you go. Sending in the Orbison first with a lot of MD 34s. Gap's infantry is only about to get a bit of a rude awakening of their own. T-35 push back here by the Kedna for fire there. Note the way to move out. It's obviously looking to flank the Pune uh, troopers and deny them heavy cover. Forcing retreat. We need to try for some bone grenades on the tree path. Decides not to. I'd argue this could have been a missed opportunity by Ghost Dragon. Again, a go well timed bone grenade that could have possibly like, wiped both squads. And Gap here in the wake of this does go for another T-35. 
maybe he was planning for the IS-2, but seeing the entire right flank buckle like that under a sweeping orbital and assault backed up by the Panther 4 Moldier probably was enough to convince Giap that maybe he needs more tanks first before going for the really big ones. Fix out the T-3045, PMs with the reinforcing. Got the T-70 still landed here, half H of T-3 in the east level. I mean, Gaps are also being displayed some pretty solid unit preservation with five penal trooper squads, like he's yet to lose a single one. Got the Obsidian going for the penal squad in the west here, Panther also supporting. Needs to get the Panther to deal with that T-70 though, or his Obsidian was just getting wiped. East side, they got the T-50 from open, the machine gun is certainly not cut out for the task. Shooting so infantry, sure. Shooting a so T-35, less so. Now the Sturm Pioneer squad here for Ghost Dragon, thumbs up, plus a Rakete in Werfer. I mean, obviously helps to have two Sturm Pioneer squad try to repair armor. Panther 4 may just make it out of there. But certainly also just having another Panzer Shrek team ready could also be good to hear though for him. Air support calling the Orbital Garden. Panther 4 holding his way back to the base here, needs to get the Sturm Pioneers to work on it. Schnell. 472 and a 4. Third foot further repaired in the east. All of a sudden, that's the penal troopers. Just a violent exchange of firepower here. And the all of a sudden, ultimately forced to fall back. There's just things get way too hot for them. There we go. Both June Pioneer squads now going to work on fixing up that Panda 4. Thumbs up there to Ghost Dragon. That's going to be a pretty swiftly fixed up Panda 4. East side and Gap once more in the movie hit, grab the Eastern Victory Point and Fuel Point once more away from Ghost Dragon and the 20th Panzer de Shawn. 2 to 3, they're very close to Vetsni 3. At this point, he's just using Shawn more resources. Bit of extra fuel, bit of extra munitions. Not a bad idea at all. Panda Fall there, getting ready for Ghost Dragon once more. I would not be surprised to see another Panther 4 here or a Yak Panzer versus Gyap. Though it may also be at this point that Ghost Dragon will have to start having bigger plans here versus Gyap. We'll have to see. Another push into these again. Orbison, there we go. Engineers versus two Orbison squads are just pretty much executed on the spot. Panther 4 rolling out. Engineers there by the Eastern Fuel Point. Very quick to fall back as soon as they got the point here. Panda 4, they get into trouble with the anti tank rifles and an anti tank side charge here. Could possibly cost them the Panda 4 with a bit of bad luck. Does nearly survive, but the, the Sturm Pioneer will have to rush up there to fix it up. Schnell. In terms of the Orbison squad here, heavy cover, but there's the two elite infantry squads here and the possible threat of grenades here. I don't think they can maintain this position for long. Unless he doesn't pop the grenade at all and splits them up. That's a bit of an odd decision to be honest there, but okay, there we go. We do get the grenade now. Panther 4 there, doing a bit of emergency repairs. And can soon go for another Panther 4 east side. The T-35 of the T-70 support striking it at Ghost Dragon's right flank, which, while strong versus infantry, retains a rather notable weakness against enemy armor. Ema Gaps Katusha is almost done. That's going to make things even tougher here for Ghost Dragon. In terms of these infant support weapons. Betting before they gain on the machining of Airfion Dreizig here for Ghost Dragon. So troops pinned down as the T-55 tries to force them away here. Panda 4 going for the T-55. No heat shells here loaded up. And straight back onto the some fuel point with the Orbital Darden. 14 kills, half eight to Vets and the three. Left cameras running about here, pushing on the west side as well. Got those penal troops out again here as the Panda 4. They are Petrius 41s. Eastern shot from the Panda 4 quickly eliminates one third of the squad. And the east side here, Gyat and the Red Army launches another offensive to reclaim the eastern fuel point and victory point from the fascists. At this point, it's starting to look like. Ghost Dragon might this time around actually be going for the Panther here. Again, I could easily prove wrong. So we'll have to see if I'm proven wrong or not. But for now, the Gap just launches attack after attack. 
searching Omity vs. Ghost Dragon and the 20th Panzer D. Sean. Quickly loading up the 2 to 3 in case the soldiers go for it. Smart thinking ahead there by Ghost Dragon. Well, he can go for another Panther when he wants to, but the question is again if he does want to do that, he does want to go for the Panther. A few shots there through the sidearm and the T-35 catches about here. Need to disperse the Sturm Punier like Kettenhoff before they just become mulch here before the rockets. So I'm a quick holding back in the east side, eastern fuel point and other points are seized here by Gat once more. We got 346 versus 193. While Ghost Dragon continues to maintain a strong victory point lead. In most other respects, he's definitely struggling versus Gyup. But yeah, it does very much look like a Panther now. Just a few more moments to go and can press that Panther shift button. Except he's actually got too many units to call in the Panther as well. So maybe it's not because of that. Oh well. Seems they've engaged for the Panda 4. Almost got the unit what they're close call, but not quite close enough. T-35 is there, being repaired, or awaiting repairs. Of course, can expedite it with the vehicle crew self-repair. I mean, he's got plenty of munitions. He's got a fuel cache here, so at this point, it does appear like, yup, is setting up for the IS-2 heavy tank next. Lining up for something a bit bigger here versus Ghost Dragon. We'll have to see how that pans out. But I think there's a good chance he can call it in fairly relatively safely here. I mean, he's got plenty of armor, he's got plenty of infantry. It's not like, you know, he's just doing nothing while he's stalling up for it. It's not like he's giving up his opponent a lot of room to maneuver in. But again, it does appear like, again, Ghost Dragon setting up for his Panther. But he has the resources, but he doesn't have the population. So he I think, easily afford to get a bit more aggressive than he wants to go for that Panther. Not recklessly so, but, you know, still trying, you know, kick in a few more doors than he currently is. Which is about your feet. There you go. Should be able to call in the Panther now here. Go. Panzer Kampfang 5. Ausführung A on the way here for Ghost Dragon. As the machine crew there absolutely explodes into a thousand tiny pieces. You saw it here. A bit of explosions there. Might have been a mine. Might have been a booby trap. Hard to say here. Orbs on counter attacking. Gap falling back here from the center. Are routing the east here by the Orbital Darden, and there are many guns. Panther at the centre against the T-435 here. Good shot there, the Kettle was supporting as well. He could cost uh, Gap's tank quite a bit of health there, and possibly miss his life. There you go, lucky bounce there, eastern point mixes for the Orbital Darden. Penal troopers, penal troopers holding up there. T-35 coming out here for Gap. Shot bounced. West side here, pimps on the flank of the Fultz Grenadiers. Panthers are almost done. Air support calling in by Gap again as he looks to forestall the German armored advance. Virtually for the armor Kett now for Panther for early escapes. Panzer Kampfang, 5th Gap Expedite. Gap getting in close to the eyes too. The Kett now for their forced retreat as Gap's armored fist here. The T-35 there travels right through Ghost Dragon's left flank. Panther though has now arrived. The Panzer Kampfang, 5th Ausführung A, A, adding the Panzer Commandant to it. East side, we've got the opposite of the penal troopers here. Heavy fire there, routing the Straf, but mercilessly. As Gap keeps up the attack on the west side, he's very close having the eyes to fuel wise, but manpower wise, there's a bit more to go there. Panther dashing ahead here for Deutschland. Crashing through the terrain, but crucially, no communists. Moingen is here for Gap as he realizes he does need more repairs. Though, of course, this also depletes his manpower, meaning he can't easily go from eyes to anyways. So he may not be going for the eyes to after all, in which case he definitely should just be going for more T-35 fires. Panthers diving in pretty grossly, like pretty fearlessly here by Ghost Dragon. Yeah, clearly hasn't been thinking too much about the mines. There you go, Kachucha knocked out by the Panther. Great kill by Ghost Dragon. And certainly sends a sharp message here to Gap that, you know, mind your flanks. Otherwise, I'll send a Panther right through them and mess you up. So it's lining up the next push. Panzer 4, they're almost more or less good to go here for Ghost Dragon in Germany. Also more Sturm Punier here. I do think you should upgrade them with Panzer Shrex. 
sell the same old alloy. Should add more Panzer Dragster, more Raketen Panzerbüchse. I guess Ghost Dragon is less interested in that for now. Got repairing stuff back here. Quite a bit of repairs needed there, honestly. Again, could use vehicle crew self repair to expedite the entire thing. Here's the Panther, a lot of anti-tank rifle right there. Shearing off a fair amount of health there from the Panther already. Got the Orbs on the Fulton, the Sturm Pioneer pushing back here. Gaps Strafbart in the center there. Pimsels the Panther 4 here. Very close to that TV on that Panzerkampfwagen 4. Got 319 to 71. T-35 getting ready, and they're still not self-repair from Gatman. It's not like he's laying down a lot of mines, I'm guessing. He just wants his ammunitions here for the Isle 2 Sturmwick tanks as a priority to the point that he's willing to just, you know, slow down the repairs of his tanks, I guess, even. Eastern fuel point there being seized by the vets and the Forbes and again 33 kills. West side continues to well overall see very little action. It's like just they kind of forgot the western half of the map basically existed. Just center east has sort of been just more where everything has happened while the west is just, you know. A myth for all intents and purposes. Grand victory point there. Still, bit more action now happening. Got the T food for moving up. Have a gap in the red army. Straight at the observation here. Panzer Shrek team moving up. Start upgrading the second one here. Push in the center there into the veteran if the observation. Backed up the Panther 4. We got salute. Air support called in again. Panther pushing westwards here. Pimps was routed. Bit of a. Well, probably not the best kind of attack there for Gap. I mean, he's launching some fairly manpower expensive assaults that keep splitting him out, which makes it hard for him to then go for the ice tube. That's what he's playing for here, so. I think there's also room here for arguing that Gap probably should reconsider his tactics here versus uh, Ghost Dragon at the moment. Ghost Dragon, meanwhile, is Wallace for Pop Cap, but he was like lose a bit more. He could then easily just call in on a Panther if he wanted to here versus Gap. T35 in the West here, Panther engaging, good shot right for the front llama of the T35. Very close Veterans 1 on the Panzer Kampfwagen 5 here for Ghost Dragon. There we go, Veterans 1. Gained, opens up for the combat blitz. Sending seized here by the penal troops, the east side here. We got the swords being pushed back here steadily. Panther backing off in the west here, decides not to extend versus Gap. Probably for the best. Center there though, seized by Gap, but at a pretty high cost. They're dropping multiple anti tank as well here for Ghost Drang to cease to push up the eastern side here. Off but moving forwards, Panther they're being fixed up for Ghost of Dragon. The gap just has plenty of fuel floating, but just not enough manpower to spend it on. And again, he might be dreaming they have something else. And again, he's just constantly enforcing at this point. So I don't know if he's got plans of going for the IS2 now, but the way he's playing, he's definitely gonna take a long, long, long time to get to the IS2, to truth be told. Even at this rate, I mean, Ghost Dragon could probably just get a King Tiger out as soon as he loses enough units if he wanted to. Half oh, fate to for then the Panther can find Fearful in Europe. We got the Panther with two T-Fed Fives. May want to pop heat shells on the Panther for increased damage. Not that he needs the extra penetration against the tanks, but the extra damage could allow the Panther to knock out the T-Fed Fives faster. So that could be a pretty good idea here. Yep, sending up the eastern side. We got 302 versus 133. Yeah, definitely starting to fall behind on the victory points here versus Ghost Dragon. And these orbs of Dungeons are definitely costing gaps and casualties. Going for the eastern fuel point again. Sneak up some force on the thing of the western victory point as well here. Close to Vetsy 4 and the other Orbs on squad here, and there you go, East level squad arriving, 37 kills there, charging in for Deutschland, T-3045 taking hit here from the Panda 4, East side here, fuel point there, could be reclaimed here by Ghost Dragon, West side there, we can see there, Yup is moving in to quickly buy some time here, versus Ghost Dragon and the Third Reich. But two Sturm Puny squads arrive here, we do get a saddle charge here, Ghost Dragon isn't paying attention, ends up something massive losses. Wow, that was... 
complete waste of stone puny, yeah. In East South East Straff back right here by the opposite garden. Betsy for another squad here. Of course, he can easily afford to replace the Sturm Pioneer if he wants to. But again, he's just got so many resources at this point. T for from the center here. Center pick to point health again. We got 94 versus 302. T for the five suffering heavy damage here against Ghost Dragon's armor. East side here, we got the almost on us, the East T70. Straight up the center with the penal troopers here. Being blasted by the now near Vecchi 4 Panther 4. There we go, Vecchi 4 cheap, increasing its accuracy further and thus its lethality further. Strafbart there being routed though, taking heavy fire here from Ghost Dragon. Teeth of them trying to assist, but they're just not making much of an impact now either. Gap is on the offense, but the other to achieve what besides some kind of vague idea of victory? I don't know. Orbs on there with 42 kills, they're absolutely annihilating here. Gaps, unfortunate engineers. And the Pantherming forts here for Deutschland as well. Half A32. It keeps pummeling onwards towards higher levels of being. I mean, he could go for Sturm Tiger, honestly. It wouldn't be half bad either. He goes Dragon, honestly. It's for Gap. He might be hoping to stall for the IS-2 now, or he may actually just left the game. We're waiting for the game to react to Gap leaving. Yeah, it sounds a little like he just left, realizing his odds are just not looking great. Gap pops out. A blow there to the Red Army. A victory for Deutschland. There you go, GG. Game over. An interesting strategy, but ultimately I think Gap just tactically dropped the ball. Perhaps a wee bit there, and I think making a lot of mistakes there. Tactically, again, just kept it relying on head on assault. In fact, he might have benefited from a mortal later on to deploy smoke screen support as a tactic as it goes dragon more efficiently. So something to consider there. But I'll wait. Nice match. I hope you learned something from it. I hope you enjoyed it and had fun. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment. This is Imperial Cheers. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you tomorrow again for another episode. Bye.